Hi, welcome to your channel, Generous, Gracious and Gallant. I'm your host, Dr. Ghosh, and I'm back today with another very transformational and informational video for all of you. Friends, on the previous video which I had released on the channel about Rani Vijaya Devi of Mysore, who was a patron of arts and crafts, I had committed to you that the next video on this channel will be about another very inspirational Maharani. The inspirational Maharani whose motivational and inspirational story I bought for you today is Raj Mata Vijaya Rajesh India who was born on 12 October 1919. She was born Lekha Divyeshwari Devi and known popularly as Raj Mata of Gwalior. During the British Raj, she was the consort of the last Maharaja of Gwalior, Jiva Ji Rao Sindhya. She ranked among the highest royal figures in the country. Post-independence, she joined multiple political parties and then moved on to the BJP and she was elected repeatedly in both houses of Indian Parliament. She was committed to the Ram Janbhumi Temple Movement. I will be sharing more about her shortly on the video. But before that, I would like to sh share with you that today we have over 720 subscribers on the channel. I would like to thank all my 720 subscribers. We've got over 340 videos and 25,000 views. Thank you one and all. What I bring for you on this channel is inspirational and motivational stories of human beings at their very best, living by the eternal human principles such as honesty, integrity, loyalty, respect for diversity, respect for womankind, respect for our teachers for our parents. Living by these principles is the only way forward for conflict-driven mankind. It has also come to my notice on call that my videos are being shown in multiple orphanages in Chennai to mold their character and change their thought process. I feel truly blessed. Coming back to the story of Raj Mata Vijaya Rajesh India. She was born on 12th October 1919 in Sagar in MP, the elder child of Thakur Mahendra Singh of Kotla State who was a government officer and his second wife Devashwari Devi Chuda who, were, who was the daughter of the commander-in-chief of the Nepali army Raja Kudgars Shamsher Jang Bahadur Rana, who was also the nephew of the founder of the Rana dynasty of Nepal, Jang Bahadur Kunwar Rana. Now, she was named Lekha Devieshwari Devi at birth. In 1941, she married to Jivaji Rao Sindhya, the Maharaja of Gwalior one of the richest and highest ranking kingdoms in the British Empire. He had a 21 gun salute. Till India became independent, she carried out her duties and responsibilities as the queen of the Gwalior state. Later, in 1957, post Indian independence in 1947, she decided to contest and won the Guna Lok Sabha seat on a Congress ticket. In 1962, again, she won from Gwalior, her kingdom, on a Congress seat. Then, she accepted the Congress and in 1967, she won the Guna seat back again on Swatantra party ticket. Later, she joined the BJP and 
resigned her Lok Sabha seat to be part of state politics and concentrate on her kingdom Gwalior as well. She won the Konera Assembly seat in MP as a Jan Sangh candidate. The Jan Sangh party and Rajmata Vijaya Rajya Sindhya defied the Indra wave in 1971 in the Lok Sabha polls and won three seats in the Gwalior region, namely Vijay Rajya Sindhya, Rajmata winning Bhid, Vajpayee from Gwalior and Madhavrao Sindhya, her son from Guna. He later left the party and joined the Congress. In 1977 and 84, she did not contest the Lok Sabha elections. She lost to Indira Gandhi in Raip Bareli in 1980. 1989, she joined BJP and contested for the Guna seat again and retained it in 1991, 96 and 98. During the 71 emergency, she was imprisoned. One of the highlight of her career was the imprisonment during the emergency and she shared a cell with the then Rajmata and MP Gayatri Devi of Jaipur in Tihar jail. They were cellmates and bonded and established a lifelong relationship and friendship. The relationship of friendship stood them in good stead throughout their life. Their friendship between the Rajmata of Gwalior, Vijay Raja Sindhya and the Rajmata of Jaipur, Gayatri Devi benefited both of them personally and in politics. Rajmata Vijay Raja Sindhya became a part of the BJP leadership in the 80s. She became one of the vice presidents of the party. She popularized the Ranjan Bhumi movement and pushed the demolition of the masjid. She was one of the BJP vice presidents who said her dream had been fulfilled. She stepped stood down from the BJP's vice presidentship in 1998 on health grounds and died in January 2001. Rajmata Maharani Vijayaraja Sindhya of the Gwalior Kingdom who will be remembered always for her care and welfare of her people of Gwalior and her political career which brought about change in the fate and fortunes of millions in this country. Friends, inspirational Maharani Rajmata Vijay Raja Sindhya of Gwalior will go down in the annals of history as one of the most influential Maharanis of in India. Friends, I request you once again Please do subscribe to the channel Generous, Gracious and Gallant. I will be sharing with you on the subsequent week video about the Begum of Bhopal, one of the inspirational royalties of India in the subsequent video. Please stay linked with us by becoming a subscriber and being a part of our family. Till we meet again with another very inspirational video on your favorite channel generous gracious and balanced good luck all the best